other institutions which are which are a constant factor and at times also plays a role of creating new states, uh, ensuring that the balance of power is not destroyed, and finally international law. So these institutions are particularly important in maintaining what is called the order and the interaction that states have among themselves. So the institutions that we talk about, or the United Nations, the G20, uh, the League of Nations before that, uh, the whole the World Trade Organization, uh, and a series of other arms control organizations, etc., etc., are all secondary institutions that flow from these basic institutions. And these international organizations and institutions are essentially there to further the basic fundamental institution that I mentioned to you, which is to create the conventions and agreements that keep coexistence, cooperation, peace, stability in the global system of states which live in the concept called anarchy. The anarchy is not anarchy in the real sense of the term, but it essentially means the absence of a govern government, a global government. So the states are on their own and they have to then survive because survival of the state is the most fundamental, just like the survival of the individual in the global order.